Hello, today's lecture is on how to create a virtual machine in GCP using Terraform. So the first thing we need to do is we need to install Terraform. I've given you the link here. And after you've installed Terraform, the second most important thing you need to do is you need to set the dollar path to the installed executable. After you've done that, the second thing we'll do is we'll create a service account in GCP and we will download the JSON file. And after we've downloaded it, we will set a particular variable called as the Google application credentials to that particular JSON that we've created or we've downloaded. If you're doing it in Windows, the command is set Google application credentials and the path of the downloaded JSON. And similarly, if you're using Linux, it's Google application credentials and the path of the downloaded file. So after we've, do, we've done that, we will need to create a Terraform file called a main.tf. So in the main.tf, the important things you need to remember is you need to first give the provider information. So the provider here would be Google. And we also need to mention which particular project the particular VM should decide in. So I've mentioned the particular project as noted Hangout. So this is one of the projects that I have. And similarly, the region and the zone as well. After I've given my provider information, I need to give the resource as VM instance and the name of the resource in Terraform to create a virtual machine is called as Google Compute Instance. So I will link you a document on all the Terraform uh, equivalent for all the GCP resources. And similarly, the name of the particular virtual machine would be Terraform instance and the machine type would be F1 micro. So these are the required parameters, the name, the machine type, the boot disk, which will contain the image of the Linux distribution as well as the network interface. So the network interface will contain the default network within which this particular GCP project will reside in. So all these are just the bare necessary uh, configuration that is required to create a virtual machine in GCP using Terraform. And after we've done that, we will, we will run the init command the plan command, the apply command, and the destroy command. So the init is just to initialize the project. The plan is basically to see whether the main.tf file we have created will execute in the manner in which we want it to execute. Terraform apply will basically execute the main.tf file and create the virtual machine instance. And at the end, we will, we will run the terraform destroy command to remove the virtual machine that we've created. So let's start. So the first thing I've done is I have installed Terraform. So, so let me just as you can see I have Terraform installed. Uh, what is important is you have to set the path properly. So if I go to path, you see that I have set the path for the Terraform here. So this is where the Terraform executable resides. So this is important. If you don't do this, then it will not it will not run in all the in all the paths. So make sure that you do this before you proceed so after we've installed terraform the second thing we'll do is we'll create a service account so let's do that so i'll go to my gcp iam service account here i'll create a service account
I will give this particular service account uh, the owner access to this project though it is not advisable to do this for production environment but for this demo I will just give it access to the entire project as owner okay, so now my service account is created I need to download the keys so I will just create a key so I will create a JSON key let me just click on create so I'll copy this in I will save this information in a particular folder so let me go to document Form and I'll save it here. And close this. So, as you can see, that uh, I have copied it to this path. I had another one created, so let me just remove this. So the next thing I will do is I will set this using this particular Windows command. I'll copy this. Okay, so this is done. So after this, I need to create the main.tf file. So I've already created the main.tf file. So I'll just show this file to you once again. So it's it's a very basic file. It just has the provider. So this is info. This is an important parameter. It will mention the project, the region, and the zone. So this is this is something that is uh, necessary for you to run the Terraform file. And after that, the resource. So this is the particular Terra Terraform resource to create an instance, and this is the name of that Terraform instance. It's called VM underscore instance and the name of the virtual machine we will create would be Terraform instance one and the machine type would be F1 micro. Similarly, the boot disk would have an image of Debian and the VPN in which it will reside is the default VPN. So after we've done this, we'll just do a Terraform in it. Okay, after this, we'll just do a Terraform plan. Okay, I think we need to close it and run it again. So let me just close it and Okay, I'm in that path again. So let me do a Terraform plan. So at the end, it will tell you that what will be added and what will be destroyed. Now, because we are creating a virtual machine for the first time, it will just create a virtual machine. So if you go through the list, It will tell you that what all are going to be created. It's basically going to create a 
virtual machine with this name terraform instance the machine type would be an f1 micro so these are basically the parameters that are there in the main.tf file similarly the boot disk the image would be a debian so these are just the required parameters the others would be taken from the default and the network would be the default network yeah once you've seen the plan then if you are okay with it and if you think that there's nothing wrong with it then you need to just run the terraform apply you need to enter yes and now it will start creating the infrastructure Okay, it has been created. So I can go back to my GCP. I can go to my compute engine. And I can see that there is a Terraform instance created. And it is of type F1 micro. So that's how easy it is to actually create a virtual machine in Terraform. So once you are satisfied you can easily destroy it as well so to destroy the instance you just need to do a terraform destroy oops so it will ask you again whether you want to destroy just say yes Yeah, and it's destroyed. So if I refresh this page again, you'll see that uh, it has been destroyed. So that's how simple it was to create an instance in GCP using Terraform. I uh, hope this was very useful for you. Thank you.